Good evening. Welcome back. We are delighted to uh, welcome everyone back for this Mass, especially on this holy feast of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. You should have at the end of your pews, you put out the pews, these prayers, and also the, some of the songs we will be singing tonight. So please join in. Please join me in and singing our opening song, uh, number 
Please join in singing the refrain of the responsory song, O oh, Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless. 
class. Is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Several of our music ministers to 
accompany me for a lot of these tapings to put on our website. I know it's meant a lot to a lot of people staying at home all these weeks because they've called me or written to me about how important that has been to keep connected with their faith community. So I'm very grateful to my pastoral staff for helping me in the ministry to reach out to as many people as possible during this troubling time. It has been a very long time, feeling a bit like what Moses was talking about in our first reading, going through that long desert journey. Three months has felt like 40 years. And perhaps we feel a bit parched in the spirit, feeling rather dried up from being isolated from our relatives or our friends and the rest of the community most of the time, with just one day blurring into the next, with almost every day feeling like the same one as before, and life getting to be quite monotonous after a while of being stuck at home. It has been so hard for all of us, no doubt about it, with all the challenges and worries and sacrifices we've all had to make to some degree. I lost track of how many parishioners had asked me over the past few weeks, Father, when are we going to have Mass together again? One woman spoke to me on the phone just a couple of days ago, sharing tears of joy about being able to come back and be at a Mass live, not virtually. She said it would feel like the happiest day of her life, and she cried even harder. <laughs> Powerful. And now we're here in God's oasis on this sacred ground to be refreshed with the greatest gift that God has given us. Jesus the Son, who comes to us as the greatest food that we could ever have to rejuvenate our faith that may have felt dried up, His holy body and communion. Many have told me how excited they are for it, how they've hungered for it, and how ironic and fitting it is to have our first weekend back for public masses, even in a limited way it is, to be on the solemn feast of the body and blood of Christ. God is good. And it reminds us that He is always with us, just as He promised the Apostles through His Holy Spirit. And yet we as humans need to feel the power of His physical presence. Watching Mass on TV or on the computer is nice, and I especially address my friends who are watching us on this video recording for this Mass on, for Sunday. But it can never replace the real thing as far as being there to receive actual communion, to be in the presence of our relatives and neighbors and friends, all worshiping together, all singing together out loud, listening and rejoicing together as one body of Christ. That's why the sacraments are so important to us. They're treasures for us. We need to feel like God and Jesus Christ is personally reaching out to each of us to touch us. As Jesus stated in this gospel, the one who feeds on me has life because of me. And we share that joy that St. Paul showed in that 1 Corinthians reading that we heard about. And by the way, that recording in 1 Corinthians is the first acknowledgement of a Eucharistic experience in all the scriptures. Why is the Mass of the utmost importance for us as Catholics. Well, I was thinking about that, and four basic reasons came to my mind. The first one is this. When we put the Eucharist as the central, most important part of our week, it communicates to our Lord that He is the most important being in our life, bar none. And without Him, we would be nothing. So our coming together can also inspire other people through our own example of being here to put Jesus as the center of their week and their lives. The second thought that came to my mind is this. We come to be fed and nourished by Jesus because we recognize that we can do nothing good without His love, power, and saving grace in us. Jesus gives us life more than food can or water can or air. Third, it gives us the perfect time and opportunity to offer up our prayers for our personal collective needs for our world, 
like wanting an end to the COVID-19 crisis, which has claimed hundreds of thousands of lives throughout the world. And the Mass shows the miracle of God's love to do anything for us that God knows is best for us, like the miracle of bread becoming Jesus' body. As it says in the Bible, with God, all things are possible. And fourth and final reason, it is meant to bind us all closer together, to help us to recognize Jesus, hopefully, in each other. Just as Jesus took flesh to become one of us, to show us how to do that better. Our Lord literally hungers for us, that we pray for each other and we're to act in a loving, humble way to each other, to remind us that Jesus came among us as one of us, and that we should do our best to sense Jesus in our neighbors all around us. And I think that last reason is even more important for us to think about now, considering all the painful divisions and uncertainty that so many people are experiencing as of late. Not only with COVID-19, which may be with us for some time, sad to say, but also the recent racial tensions and protests and unrest in many towns and cities in our nation. You know, if only people would get back to basics and make a greater effort to love their neighbor as themselves, and sense God's love and dignity and goodness in each other, to see that we are much more alike than different, since we're all children of God, then the quality of life can vastly improve for everybody. We need to keep our lives, body and soul, pure for Jesus to dwell in. We should think about that when we take him in as a body of life, body of Christ. So my final message is this. Keep Jesus number one in your life. Your rock on which to withstand all of life's storms and shifting winds of change. Your light of hope when all seems dark around you. Your bread of life to keep your mind strong in Christ's truth and your heart and spirit healthy, to continue to share God's love, to nourish other people. May God continue to bless us all as one body of Christ, and may we always act like it in loving peace and humble service to one another.
may always strive to live with a faithful love and deep integrity in living out the mission we have from Jesus, especially in sharing and promoting our Christian faith. We pray to the Lord. The Lord. 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 That the virus crisis may soon come to an end. We pray to the Lord. The Lord. 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 That those unable to receive Holy Communion at this time may be refreshed by God's grace and safety and peace, wherever they may be. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our schools and college graduates, that their future may be bright and richly rewarded, especially in leading faithful, leading faithful lives for Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For an end to the bitter and violent divisions that exist in our world due to racism, hatred, selfishness, and a thirst for power, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who grieve or who are battling illness may find comfort and peace in Christ, especially virus victims, as well as relatives, friends, parishioners, including those listed in the bulletin and the prayer book of requests. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and rejoice in eternal glory in heaven, especially those from the virus, as well as Mary Lucas, Brandon Smith, Marion Howard, Ralph Elliott, and special intentions, James Angelo and Dorothy Francis Arkansinger. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your prayers offered in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for Father Joseph Marcuschello, who was just ordained a priest for our diocese this morning that his work and ministry may bear great fruit for God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Holy God, we praise you for your wondrous love and for the gift of your Son, Jesus, whose body and blood he freely offered for our strength and nourishment on the road to salvation. May you heal us in our various needs and help us to imitate your Son's sacrificial love through our showing steadfast faith and through our care for one another. Grant these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing our hymn of presentation found on your song sheet.
whose signs are to be seen in mystery, and the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, He offered Himself to you as the unblemished Lamb, the acceptable sacrifice and gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race, founded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim.
Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation, and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us what our earthly pilgrimage has done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, Martyrs, St. Paul, St. Benedict, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
about the communion guidelines, I'll be wearing my face mask as I'll be giving you communion. We'll have a single file aisle. We just ask that you follow the directions of the usher who will be directing traffic up front and six feet apart on the blue table.
obvious reasons. So we had the collection basket up front. If you wanted to make an offering during uh, the time that we've been away, a little catch-up offering or just a one-time offering, whatever you prefer. And just to let you know, we are starting up daily mass again here on Monday morning at 8 o'clock. So we'll be doing it Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as we have in the past. So if you have some free time to join us for that, we'd love to see you. Thanks for coming. Well, Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our celebration is ended. Go forth, love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a glorious week, everybody. Thank Take care. Thank Please join in singing our recessional hymn found on one of your song sheets. I am the bread of life. Amen. Amen. 